<laughs> Let me tell you something also which is very interesting. You might remember that a former British prime minister who lost her job to the present chap who looks like somebody out of some strange uh, event. Uh, um, she, I think it was a lady called Theresa May, and I did get a chance to interact with some of her people. And the, the, the question about uh, this uh, fellow who owned an airline, this Malaiwala character, was raised that, will you send him back to us? You know, th what this official told me, and I will not take names because there is uh, a certain amount of trust there's a certain amount of commitment and confidentiality. He said to me, he said, buy our warplanes rather than the Rafals. We'll put Malaiwala on the first one back to India. It was the French revolutionary, I think, Bertrand Le Barrère, who, Barrer, who had said, the British are a nation of shopkeepers. Buy from them, they'll sell their souls. So if Mr. Malaiwala thinks that they are keeping him there because of some sense of British justice, total errant nonsense. They are keeping him there because it yeah. suits them too, because he has invested money there. Now I believe the Swiss have taken over one of the huge villas that he owned. They'll also slowly take away all the other properties he has. Once he's broke, they'll send him right back to India because then he has no further use. And then they have no further use for him. 